Hi there guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be showing you how to speed up your Windows 10. This is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial which will help you to boost your Windows 10 PC. And don't worry, it can be applied to any Windows 10 PCs regardless of whatever hardware configurations you have. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Enable Storage Sense to save space. Storage Sense is a great feature that will help you to make more space on your computer. It can achieve this by automatically getting rid of files you don't need anymore, like the temporary files and the contents in your recycle bin. It can even make more rooms by deleting the previous version of your Windows 10 files. It is definitely well to be included in the performance category because the more space you clean, the less laggy your Windows 10 will become, or we can say it, it will become more responsive. Anyway, the storage sense option is disabled on your Windows 10 by default. So let me show you how to enable it. Go to your Windows settings, as always press Windows key plus I on your keyboard. Now head over and open the first menu which is system. Now navigate to storage submenu and simply enable storage sense option. Now Windows 10 will be automatically cleaning your unwanted files so you can have that peace of mind. Number 2. Startup apps. A startup program is a program or application that runs automatically after your system has booted up normally. Previously it was managed from your task manager and it's still available there. But on Windows 10 it's much easier than before. Head over to your Windows settings and for that you can press Windows key plus I on your keyboard. Otherwise you can go to the start menu and click on this gear icon. Anyway once you're here head over to the apps menu. Now navigate to the startup sub menu. And there you will see all the apps or programs which are running in the background every time you have booted up your system. Background apps are useful only if you use them on a regular basis. While it's running in the background, minimize your system tray. It can appear faster when you need them compared to the other apps or programs in that case. Or we can say it this way, background apps are already launched and waiting for your call, but beware it is also using your valuable system resources like your RAM, processing power, etc. Which will bring a great negative impact on your Windows performance. So by disabling them from automatic startup, you can free up a lot of your system resources. Means that you can get more performance for your other application in need. Also it will cause faster boot apps. So let's go ahead and disable every app or program which you rarely or not at all using. I hope you done that, so let's jump to another tweak. Number 3. Reduce Recycle Bin Limit Don't even think it's a simple thing. Recycle Bin plays a huge part in your system stability because it's using the storage of your system drive or in which drive your Windows 10 was installed in. Normally Recycle Bin default would be 100 gigs and think if you're a person who never clears your Recycle Bin, all of your deleted files will kept in your Recycle Bin until it reaches 100 gigs. And all these 100 gigs of storage is using from your system drive. You know what, if your system drive is full or kinda of full, your windows will become laggy or unresponsive. It's a fact, if you want you can check that yourself. So this is another way to always keep your C drive unexhausted. I hope you understand the point of limiting the data that your recycle bin can store. So let me show you how to do that. Go to your recycle bin desktop icon. Right click on it, now choose properties, now go to customize size, as you can see it is written in MBs, so let's dial in 10,000 or 15,000 which set your recycle bin limit to 10 or 15 gigs. Now click apply and you're done. Number 4. Better power plan. You may not heard about the term power plan in Windows before unless you are an advanced user. So let me tell you a short brief about the power plan before changing it to a new one. So that you can understand how much of a performance jump you'll get just by changing your power plan on your Windows 10 PC. Normally we have three different power plans available in the Windows by default. And those are balanced, high performance and power saver power plans. The default power plan choice of the Windows would be the balanced option. So if you check for the currently enabled power plan on your control panel, it would be the balanced option. For a quick boost, you can quickly choose the high performance power plan. It may also hidden under the additional plans tab. So be sure to check there as well. But wait, we have a more powerful power plan hidden inside the Windows 10 itself. So let me show you how to enable that one. And I'm pretty sure that you don't need more explanation about the other three power plans. 
they are pretty much self-explanatory. So let's focus on the fourth one, the hidden power plan, the ultimate power plan option. It is the most powerful power plan amongst the available power plan. As well as it is a great choice if you are really serious about your computer hardware performance, especially if you are the person who does some heavy workloads or hardcore gaming on the system. I only recommend this for the power users and you won't gonna find it until we do a little trick. So let's go ahead and unveil the hidden monster, the ultimate power mod. Go to your start button, right click on it and it will bring this shot menu. Now go ahead and pick this Windows PowerShell admin option. It is important to pick the PowerShell with admin rights, so keep that in mind. Now type in this indie command line to the PowerShell and press enter on your keyboard. The PowerShell command line will be available on your video description for an easier copy paste, so be sure to check there as well. Now you can see it says something something then ultimate performance in here. That means we are successfully unlocked our new and powerful power plan in Windows 10. So let's head over to the power option settings in the control panel. Just go to start menu search box and type in choose a power plan. Now click it and here we are in the control panel power option window. As you can see here we have the new and unlocked power plan, the ultimate performance option. So quickly choose it as your new default and we haven't done yet. We have to show you one more thing about your new power plan so it could be even more useful to you. It is nothing about boosting the performance further but you control it furthermore as the way you please. Go ahead and click on the change plan settings for the ultimate performance power plan and from here choose change advanced power settings which will open this small window and this whole list of options will be revealed to you so that you can make furthermore adjustments to your new power plan for example, you can control the processor power, where you can dial in the preferred performance for your processor in between its maximum or minimum state. And you can go to the power button and lit option and change your computer power button's behavior. You can program it to do any of these following tasks. And whenever you press them, it will act accordingly. Play around with these settings and you might find more useful things. Number 5. Bloodware Removal Bloodware simply means unwanted software or application included by the manufacturer when you buy a new computer. And usually this happens when you buy laptops and in most cases they will only available for a trial period. So many of them are rarely useful or a total waste and the most disappointing fact is that it will also take a part of your valuable storage as well. So let's head over and get rid of every unwanted bloodware. So go to settings by pressing windows key plus I on your keyboard. And this time go to apps. Now navigate to apps and features submenu. Now find the bloodware. Once you found it, click uninstall and click it again. And there we go. Now do this to every other bloodware and you're done. Number 6. Disable user account control. Windows do always want to warn you whenever you install a program or change any important settings by popping a dialog box and make you click OK to continue. Do you ever think why even bother about warning you when you already know what you're doing? Great question. Just disable user account control to end these endless annoying pop-up dialog boxes and fill the floor. To do that, search user account control in your search box near the start button. Now click on the change user account control settings which will bring you to this window. Now slide this bar all the way down to never notify, now click OK and just see the warning pop up for one last time. Click OK to continue and there we go. No more warnings. And let me tell you this particular step may not increase your performance like the other steps on the video. But it makes things seem a little bit faster so only do if you want. Number 7. Windows Updates I know it sounds silly but an outdated system may cause serious performance issues. So it's a thing that you should take into consideration if you are looking for serious performance out of your Windows 10 PC. So let me show you how to do that as fast as possible if you are a noob to Windows 10. Just press Windows key plus I on your keyboard which will launch the Windows settings and from here go to update and security. Now under the submenu Windows update you will find a button called check for update. Click on it and it will be checking for the newest Windows update and will be installed automatically if anything available. In case if you don't know, it might require a system restart in order to get a new update in its full effect. Number 8. Clean C Drive 
Disk Cleanup is a Windows default utility which helps you to clean unnecessary files from your local disks. It can be used to clean any of your local disks, but we are showing you how to clean your C drive because this is a performance oriented video. As we said, cleaning up your C drive will definitely have a positive impact on your system performance. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Go to the search box and search Disk Cleanup and click on it which will open up this tiny new window. From here, choose C drive and click OK. And you will see this window. As you can see, there is already some items are ticked to be cleaned by default. If you want, you can go with the defaults, but we are selecting each and every item listed here. And once you did that, click on Clean Up System Files button under here. Now we'll run a quick scan and once it finished, you can see it found some more unwanted items. So scroll down and tick through all of them and once you did, click OK. And you will be asked, are you sure if you want to permanently delete these files? So click on delete files and you will be freed from all of the janks from your C drive collected over the years. Number 9. Speed up shutdown. It is true that over the years Windows have improved and changed dramatically. It can boot up pretty much fast as well. But when it comes to shutdown or restart, your modern Windows 10 computer will take time. But if you have used by any chance the Windows PC two decades ago, it can shut down as soon as you hit its power button. It is because nowadays Windows have to wait a long time before exiting any programs you have running. And sometimes Windows 10 even stops in waiting for you until you force the application to close. It could be even a notepad which you have written something and forget to save and exit. So let me show you how to speed up your Windows 10 shutdown time real quick. Right click on your start button and choose run from the menu. Now type in reg edit regedit and click OK, which will bring you to this registry editor on Windows 10. Now go to H key local machine, system, current control set, control. Now navigate to wait to kill service timeout. Double click on it. Now set the value data to 2000. It is an amount of time in milliseconds which your Windows will wait to kill an unresponsive service. And we are not recommending to set the value anywhere below 2000 because it might cause issues. Now navigate to H key current user, control panel, desktop. Now right click somewhere here. Now go to new, string value and name it wait to kill app timeout. Without space in between and set the value to 2000. Now on the same location create another string value and name it hung app timeout and set the value to 2000. Now create a string and name it auto end tasks and set it value to 1. Click OK, close the registry editor and hope you have achieved a better speed up time for shutdown as well. About all of these steps I mentioned, I recommend one more thing to do, but it is not a software related thing. To increase your Windows 10 performance further, upgrade your computer hard drive with an SSD and don't worry you can pick one up for as low as $50. Any SSD on the market will be at least 5 times better than a regular hard drive on your computer, which will boost your Windows 10 performance furthermore. Even better load times, less time to boot up, and your computer will definitely become more responsive just by upgrading this simple thing. Even without an SSD upgrade, all of the above mentioned tricks are valuable and worth doing. It will definitely boost your system performance. About the SSD, which I only said because, if you don't know the best and cheapest hardware upgrade to boost up your Windows 10 experience. Hope these tricks which I showed on the video will be definitely increase your Windows 10 performance as well as hope you will comment about your experience below. It might help the viewers come after you. So that's how you can speed up your Windows 10 PC. Leave a like if you like, subs if you want to watch more. This is me your host Amal Rafiq. See you soon with another one.